is going to be cheap on any scale. And the price of getting North Little Rock back to normal said to be astronomical, according to Parks Director Terry Hartwick. From employee overtime to supplies and lost revenue, this hit will run nearly as deep as the floodwaters, but the end is near. Kierke Force Rebecca Jeffrey shows us the progress being made to get the city back up to standards, Rebecca. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, it's going to take a lot of time, and it's taking every department in the city to clean up, repair, and reopen the city's amenities. Even though the riverfront on North Little Rock side is still closed, we got an early look at the work that's being done. The remnants of this historic flood can't be washed away fast enough. Three, four inches of mud, soot, dead fish. Parks Director Terry Hartwick says with time. Because you didn't expect this to look like this when you know it was under five feet of water, what, as of last Thursday. And money. North Little Rock crews are making it happen. It's pretty daggum clean considering what we had. It's a race against the clock since summer is the prime earnings season down the riverfront. The RV park has been shut down for about two weeks. From waiting for the water to recede, then cleaning off the lots and making repairs, the plan is to reopen most of it this weekend. Now we're anxious to get people back in here again. A ballpark dollar amount isn't available yet to know just how much money is being spent and what's been lost in revenue from the flood across the city. But for instance, this submarine brings in about $1,200 to $1,500 a day. By the time they reopen next Wednesday, they will have lost more than $25,000. Keeping track of it, all of our expenses will turn into FEMA and hope we get it all back. But for the time being, it's a hit to the bottom line. We're spending the money every day. Anyway. Our overtimes is unbelievable. And even as the cleanup continues, the memory of it all will never be washed away. The Burns Park Golf Course could open as early as this weekend. The River Trails is the next big undertaking. In order to clean up the debris, it'll take more than a week to reopen safely. The soccer fields will be the last to open since there's still standing water on them. So be patient, but know that the city is working on it. Back to you.